What's up, YouTube people? I'm back again. Decided I was gonna make another video. Um, I'm having a little problem uh, with this truck. Um, it's my blow-through truck. I've made several other videos about it and stuff, and it's been running pretty good. I actually blew up a motor on it um, about a month or so ago. I blew up one of my 5.3s, so ended up getting another motor. Uh, basically, I ran it out of fuel and just leaned it out, and, and it leaned, popped, and blew up. But got one of the pistons. I'll show you guys one of the pistons, but... This was the piston it ended up getting. Yeah, as you guys can see, no good. Um, but I got a new motor in here and um, went to a three bar map sensor because I'm running more boosts and whatnot. And I had a two bar map. I had this uh, two bar map right here. I don't know if you guys can see that uh, number. It's an AC Delco two bar map. Worked pretty good up to 15 PSI. I never had any issues with it, but I figured I'd be safe and go to a three bar. And um, now I got a three bar map in here. My phone isn't exactly weird. It's not wanting to focus, but um, So I got a three bar in here. Um, I was out doing some testing last night and um, I was looking at my computer I got my computer flipped around in here and it wasn't pulling timing for some reason I was running 15 pounds of boost and it was only getting down to 26 degrees of timing, which is too high you know I, I, I was might blow up another motor with that this is on the 85 it didn't detonate or anything at all last night I got out of it right as soon as it did that but um, I, I'm trying to wonder what's going on so I figured today I'd make a video about how to test your map sensor obviously it's pretty basic all you need is compressed air you need some sort of a uh, tank with a uh, regulator on it so you can set your PSI on your regulator all you need is real low regulator pressure and a hose, uh, you know, one of these that with a hose fitting with a barb fitting that goes on the end that you can hook up to your map sensor. Um, but basically, all you need is, you know, you can do this by yourself if you can see your computer and what's going on. I have my, uh, I have my box hooked up in my glove box, my MSD 6010 box. And then the wire just comes out so I can drive around with my laptop and tune and everything. Works pretty good. Um, yeah, so I mean, all you're gonna need to do, basically, if you're having issues where you're thinking you're detonating or you're having issues like that, you need to make sure your map sensor is working correctly. The first thing to check with an MSD6010 box is going into your settings right here. You're just simply gonna go into your settings. Number one thing to check after you check new map, make sure you have it's set on the correct bar for whatever sensor you're running. So if you have a two bar, it needs to be set on two bar. If you have a three bar, it needs to be set on three bar. I have a three bar, and as you can see right there, it's set on three bar. And it allows, and it tells you right there what PSI and everything like that that you need to run depending on which map sensor you have. That's the number one thing to check after you switch out. Make sure you have that selected. This box is super easy to run. It's really easy to tune. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come up here into your time, uh, your map advance curve, and make sure that right before 14.7 PSIA that it's going down to zero. So that as soon as your map sensor reads anything, it is, uh, it's turning, it's gonna show on your dials here, and it's gonna turn your dial down for you as soon as you put any pressure on it. Um, that would be the second thing I'd suggest. So once you have those two things done, go ahead and uh, get it so you can see your computer and see what's going on. And all you gotta do is hook up your compressed air with a little bit of vacuum hose. And as soon as you give it any type of pressure, you should just see your, uh, your timing and your PSIA go to whatever you're telling it to go to. So right there is about three or four pounds of boost drops down to 15 degrees just how it should be. So that tells me with this test that my map sensor is working correctly and it should be going down to the correct boost. So that tells me maybe my vacuum line was plugged, that tells me maybe something got inside the sensor, a piece of dirt or something and was messing it up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a new piece of vacuum line and go make a test and we'll see what happens. But I figured I'd make this video, maybe you guys are having similar issues or something, real simple test, easy way to do it. Um, if you guys have that MSD 6010 box, it's easy to figure out, but I'd figure I'd make this video and maybe it helps some of you guys out. So, all right. Well, um, if you guys have any questions, you know, I try to answer the comments as much as I can. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later.